want to let you know that faculty at Carrollwood Day School are now confirming that a family of four with ties to that school are victims in this tragedy. Our Jacqueline Inglés continues our team coverage right now live at the school with more details. Jacqueline. Class is over here for the day, but as car after car comes out, we keep seeing the same thing. Parents, faculty, and students in tears and with heavy hearts. Said bye, went out. He's gone. He spent last night hanging out with his 18-year-old friend at the gym. When they parted ways, it was no big deal. After all, they'd see each other at school this morning. I was really good friends with him. He hasn't done anything and the daughter, she's beautiful. But the teen didn't even have to leave his driveway to learn he'd never see his friend again. His friend's Avila house was engulfed in flames. Four bodies found inside. He identified the family, but we are not naming them since police nor the medical examiner have yet to confirm any identities. Their parents were great people. At Carrollwood Day School nearby, concerns continued rising as two well-liked students were nowhere to be found. Uh, they did not attend school today. No call was made excusing the absence of two high school students. Unusual and odd for the well-liked brother and sister, whose father held a leadership position at the school. Obviously, our hearts are broken at Carroll Day School. We're grieving as a community, and we've rallied around our students and our faculty and our parents. As word spread, classmates, parents, and even some faculty gathered at a nearby restaurant to grieve. Most kept their heads down. Others hugged and held hands. It's just so bad this, this happened. Now, school leaders told me that grief counselors were here on campus today and that they will be back here again in the morning. We're live in Carrollwood, Jacqueline Inglace, ABC Action News. Jacqueline, this is